Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ITTF Seamaster 2017 World Tour Platinum Qatar Open, coming to you live from Doha, Qatar. I'm your commentator, Adam Bobro, and here is the road to the final. You can see the quarterfinals on through the semis, which are about to start with Sean Shana of Germany versus Chun Meng of China. In the last round, Sean Shana beat Natalia Partika from Poland, having an incredible tournament. And on the other side, Chun Meng in the last round beat Chung Yi Ching. It was a default. Chung Yi Ching reported sick. Saw her this morning and or not sick, but injured rather. Zhang Jika sick. Jumi Zutani left sick. And there's Richard Prauza who had to leave the commentator's booth to go coach his German player. Chun Meng right there getting changed and ready. So along the road, Chun Meng started off beating Ing Wing Nam of Hong Kong four games to two. Strong performance by the young Hong Kong player. And after that, Chun Meng got through Han Ying, the chopper from Germany, 4-2 to two as well. Then was the default earlier today. But for Sean Shaona, she's having an incredible tournament. Sean Shaona started off beating the chopper from Poland, Li Qian, four games to two. After that was a 4-1 to one victory, an even better victory over the top seed, Zhu Yu Ling. Could it be a coincidence? Pen holder trouble. Li Zhao of Netherlands beat Zhu Yu Ling in the, world um, the Women's World Cup rather in 2015 in Sendai, Japan. And another old school style, one side of the racket pen holder, Sean Xiaona beat Zhu Yu Ling here. And then it was Natalia Partika. So for this match coming up right now, this best of seven, we go to the coin toss to determine who will serve and where the opponent will stand. Two-minute warm-up here. Chun Meng in the black and yellow, handing her equipment off and making sure that she gets a clean look at Sean Xiaonaz. Again, Sean Xiaonaz only using one side of the racket. Short pips on the black side and simply a sticker on the backhand side, a red sticker. It's required that each side of the racket will one side be red and one side be black. This actually came from the anti-spin same color as the other rubber, the inverted, and people twiddling in the past. Sean Shaona, 34 years old, the 16th seed in this tournament. And despite being the 16th seed, she's made it into the final four. She's world ranked number 16 currently. And was part of the Rio silver medal team in the Olympics in 2016. Richard Prouza believes in 2013, she was the runner up for the European Championships. Chun Meng on the other side. World rank number eight currently, was 10 at the time of seeding. She's the ninth seed in this tournament, 23 years old. They've played head-to-head -head one time on the world tour. The head-to-heads only count when they're on the world tour, statistically speaking. And the last time they played, it was Chun Meng who won. That was in 2015 at the Japan Open, a four to two victory for Chun Meng. She's very steady in the looping game. And since the exit of the national team for Li Xiao Xia, Chun Meng seemed to find her place, I would say, in the top four, part of the big four from the Chinese national team. If you haven't been following the Marvelous 12, it's the top 12 men and the top 12 women in China competing for their chance in a very, very rigorous several stages. They're moving on to the third stage of the competition. But this is all happening for a chance to play Time. in Dusseldorf at the World Championships coming up at the end of May. Should be an, a very exciting event. It's the singles World Championships as opposed to the teams. Also, they'll have doubles and mixed doubles. You might recall Xu Xin taking both of the doubles titles, mixed doubles and men's doubles. So we'll see how Chun Meng holds up against the high toss and the flat hitting short pips game, the quick direction off the bounce from Sean Xiaona. Well, that's one, one way to start. Fast long serve into the backhand right out the gates, a bullet. This is someone who says, I'm not afraid to rally. It's also a good tactic to keep it deep on the table and low against short pips. Very steady start for Chung Meng. Showing some confidence here. And right at the baseline, jamming up Sean Xiaonan to the backhand corner. Smart tactical play. This is part of the reason that style 
a one-sided pen hold game is mostly gone extinct is the lack of backhand. Club three. So short to the forehand side. Gets the third ball attack. Sean Shana has been making that shot quite consistently throughout the tournament so far. Four love. Now one thing we were talking about earlier is against the top Chinese players, how change of pace, breaking rhythm can be effective. Chun Meng, very experienced between Chinese Super League and all the other training she does with the Chinese national team with the fast paced short strokes off the bounce. Five love. Now while Chun Meng is staying on the long serve, she's mixing up her placement cut uh, quite well, not allowing Sean Shao Na to get in with an early attack. Love six. One six. First point for Sean Shao Na. Watch the feet after this replay. You'll see in a minute. The long serve deep to the backhand, then going to the other corner. Watch the feet of Chun Meng. So of course that time she didn't do it. She does a little bit of a shuffle that almost looks like a dance move that we see from time to time. Quite rarely from players though. Something to get them settled in and ready. Keep them light on their feet. Three. Little help off the top of the net there, but a third point for Sean Shauna. Three in a row from down 0 6. Three, seven. Now when you talk about youth versus experience, Chun Meng, much younger, 23 years old, versus her opponent, 34, Sean Shao Na. Sean Shao Na's game, tested wide to the forehand. It's also a wise move considering how likely she is to step around the backhand corner. Three eight. A little bit of surprise again. Chun Meng testing out wide to the forehand side. Excellent use of a deep, heavy push. Eight four. So this is the Sean Shauna signature. And it seemed that Chun Meng was quite clear that she has to lift on that ball, just missed the contact. A lot of players struggle with such a flat hit, different trajectory than they're used to from a loop, inverted rubber. So it's been long serve after long serve, not really allowing Sean Shao Na to get good footing in the rally. Four, ten. Clever start from Sean Shao Na, tries to put some pace on the ball. Surprise, Chun Meng opens up quickly over the table. But as soon as the ball's left slow, that's a, a very difficult shot, I would say, for Chun Meng to spin it so low to the net and so wide after that soft ball. Six game points for Chun Meng. And look at this, even when blasted right into the body, keeps the face of the racket open, plays it out to the open court and takes game one, 11 to four over Germany, Sean Shao Na. We'll have a chance to talk with their coaches and be back with a plan right after this. Thank you. 
Und er hatte gute Kontrolle, denn du weiche Anpunkte auf diesem Ball, spielt sie einmal weich zurück. Und wenn du nicht sofort schießen kannst danach, dann spielt sie da, 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 macht sie keinen Fehler. Ja, du musst auf diesen langen Aufschlag, du musst nicht riskieren. Kein Problem, machst du Fehler, kein Problem. And at the end of the minute, a little Alf gets there from Coach Richard Krause in the corner. Pumping up Sean Shauna. It's going to be some clear focus on the counterattack game and how to establish Second yourself game. early in the rally. How to really give back the pace from Chun Meng. Get ready for some more high toss serves and we'll see what Sean Shauna comes back with after losing 11 to 4 in game one. One love. Softer serve, very light spin. Or as Prouza would say, a no-spin serve. Love to. Forcing Chun Meng into the push game, the short game, is quite interesting to see. So far, quite effective. First two serves for Sean Shao Na converted. One, two. To hit the Pialiang from the corner. Sean Meng right down the line. Doesn't take long for her to cock back and really get that wristy shot. Once the ball goes long, which is why Chun Meng wants it long in general, despite that short serve to the forehand side, classic combination, short to the forehand, deep to the backhand. Once the ball goes long, Sean Shao Na becomes less and less likely to win the rally. Three, two. Chun Meng not happy with the bounce, Prouza very. At least with the placement of the serve. Net. Three all. Sean Mung in strong form. Quick to move. Took some time off after an injury last year against Ju Yu Ling in a final as part of the ATTU competitions. But since coming back, Chun Meng has looked quite strong. Very mobile, very quick. <laughs> just one more clear example. I think she lost significant amount of weight too. I'd say really shed some weight, came out here faster than ever, still powerful, but so quick in the mid-distance. You can see she's about a step behind where Sean Shao Na is and still overpowering Sean Shao Na. This is the type of quality punch, more than just a block, but an aggressive block from Sean Shao Na that it's gonna take to cause a little bit more trouble. Chun Meng, when she has the time, she reads and she lifts well, generating her own spin. Once again, it was the faster block. When Sean Shana gets a little bit more assertive and aggressive with it, it causes Chun Meng the trouble. Also the placement a little bit wider to the backhand, trying to create some angle. Maybe step around and play it down the line with the forehand.
Five one. For me, this is the right route, uh, the right move here for Sean Shalna. She has to go big with some of these shots, looking for the opportunity to step around. That forehand flat hitting shot. I mean, this is a very forehand oriented game, the traditional pen hold game. You can hear how important that point is for Chun Mung. With Sean Shana moving her around, still speed the short strokes. Chun Mung keeps her balance very well. Five seven. Not sure what happened there. It looked like a hand came up from Sean Shauna. That could have just been part of the stroke. From that angle, it was a little tougher to tell, but definitely a, you could see Sean Shauna raising her left hand. Best Six, point of the seven. match so far for me. Only game two, but still both sides grunting, getting aggressive, working the lines. Talked about how Zhuang Yuan in general likes to play cross court. And both of these women not afraid to play the lines. A little bit riskier shots, but they're definitely both digging deep. It's an open door for Chun Mung to walk through. She'd earned it after all these aggressive shots. Bird's eye view of the high toss serve. Just Eight, long. Seven. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen Sean Shauna bring that ball back by just barely getting the racket on the outside of the ball, trying to float it back down. Now looking at the score, game one was 11 to four for Chun Mung. This one's significantly tighter. Just a one point difference now. As Chun Mung pulls ahead. Eight all. Nice change of pace. Chun Mung back behind the table is a good time for Sean Shana to slow it down. And not a lot behind the table, as you saw there, just one step behind. But still, that side swiping chop block from Sean Shana doesn't carry very far. Yo. 98. And now in the lead with his second serve. Sean Shana using the short game and the short serve very effectively. Both players have changed up their positioning on their stance. Nine on. Can't be too happy about that. Sean Shana with the foot stomp of frustration after moving over, trying to serve deep into the backhand side of the body and earning that third ball attack. Didn't quite get the swing she wanted at it. So third towel break of the game. Both players drying their hands. Chun Mung with the last two serve combination this game we'll see. Yeah. And the fast down the line serve out to the forehand side. Clever play, Sean Sean Ah sort of gives that head nod like yes, yes, okay you got me, I tip my hat to you. Still, you can see how Sean Shana has to be careful to quickly reposition herself to the center of the table, even if she makes that shot. Game point for Chun Mung. Thin all. Tied right back up. Sean Shana fighting here, keeping it very close as we go into deuce. 
and it's the aggressive receive. Can't be too passive there, even on the backhand side, going to punch, try to keep some pace on the ball. Net. Serve drifts just a little bit long, but Chun Mung is right there looking for the opportunity to steal the attack. Right at the back of the table. But still above the height of the table, taking it early enough to make a drive instead of a slower, spinnier loop. Game point again to Chun Mung. Top of the net, but the counter, or the big third ball attack anyway. The drive for the game takes it at a high deuce. We'll see what happens in game three. Sean Shauna definitely making some improvements along the way. Game three coming up right after this. <laughs> and as the players come back to the table for game three, Chun Meng with some words from her coach, of course, and the same with Sean Shao Na. Looked like there was some conversation about balance how important it is to be aggressive and take advantage of getting the opponent off balance. Love one. Much like in game two, the start was a point for Sean Shana with the touch play over the table. One all. Toss right in near the body. Arcing the back for that spinny backhand third ball attack. I guess arching the back. One, two. For a moment it looked like Sean Shana thought she had won the point. Still has time to recover the ball out to the forehand. Talked a little bit with Prouza earlier about service errors. The stronger the opponent, the more likely it is that you try to do more with it. Four one. Sean Mung is just so smooth and quick right now, creating the angles. That one point we saw from overhead where she was looping with the forehand in the backhand corner sort of leaves you puzzled if you're on Sean Shauna's side. Can you play it down the line, deeper to the backhand corner? Seems to be a more safe bet to then open up the down the line shot. Lit. Again, sometimes it takes a combination of shots to create the opening for the winner. 
One six. And at this level, it often does, but even the spinny short fifth attempt on the forehand side from Sean Shauna, very difficult with Chun Mung's soft touch. There it is, deep to the backhand corner to open up the forehand line. That's the combination play that Sean Shauna is going to have to pull out. Tries to find the middle first, doesn't get a crossover, goes deep to the backhand. Chun Mung taking the bait. Pass down the line, serve once again from Chun Mung. Seven. Changing up the placement with the fast long serve, but Sean Shana stays cool to give it back with some power, some pace. Now remember, since October 1st of 2016, coaches are allowed to offer advice between points whenever the ball is not in play. Four, seven. Stretching just to cover the table, but keep it low enough. Sean Shana manages to keep the pressure on. Now this is not the way she wants to do it. She doesn't want to be behind the table. She wants to be in the short game, early on with the aggressive attack, playing the wide angles, testing Chun Mung. Eight, four. Lead service, they'll play that one again. Nine four. Excellent recovery there from Chun Mung. The smart play from Sean Shana. She flips it wide, but Chun Mung, even before she's landed, catches the edge of the table. Nine. Interestingly enough, when coaches are from different national associations, they could speak to their players in different languages. Both players out here speak Mandarin. Five, ten. In Sean Shauna's case, German as well, but it's five game points for Chun Mung to continue her streak. Little help off the top of the net there, but the intention is right. Deep push out wide to the forehand. 11, five. And completely oh, fools Sean Shauna with the receive. Chun Mung just too strong right now. Takes her third game now up 11 to five, or takes the game 11 to five and is up 3-0 rather. So coming back into game four with a lot of momentum and a lot of confidence, but Sean Shauna has her work cut out for game four right after this. And as the players come back to the table, okay. Sean Shauna with the serve. It's interesting to see Richard Krause back in the coaching corner. He was the women's head coach from 2000 to 2004 for Germany. Men's from 2004 to 2010. Love one. And after that was the head coach at WSA, the Werner Schlager Academy. 
from 2010 to 2015. Now the sports director for the German table tennis program. Two love. Right idea, changes up the serve, gets a third ball, but can't convert the point. Three love. Time out. This is a good call for the timeout here. Three point differential. Sean Shana has to figure something out. We haven't seen her have so much trouble in the service receive, especially in the shorter balls. Sean Mung has mostly been going long into the backhand and moving it around the court, but long serves have been the majority out here. Which is really quite rare if you think about it. Most of the time you're getting half long serves to deal with, occasional short deep serves from time to time to keep the opponent guessing, the receiver. So back from the timeout, we'll see how Sean Shaona takes what she heard, how she implements it. Should be Chung Mung's second serve, I believe. Just gave a heavy underspin serve. It was dumped into the net by Sean Shaona. Nana, as they call her in Germany. And as strong as that receive is, it's just a little bit too predictable. Chung Mung reads it, gets there, and counters back. This is sometimes the danger of creating a wide angle. If your opponent knows it's going there, they have an opportunity to play even wider back. Plus five. Serb drifts a little long. Chun Mung right there to take advantage, spin it up. And despite a solid serve, it's right at the baseline. Follow up attack. Handcuffed into the backhand game. Chun Mung comfortable to spin the ball deep. 6 1. Much like in game one, first point after being down 6 0. Sean Shana getting that short stroke on the forehand side into play, cross court. Wow, Chun Mung so resilient to keep the ball deep on the table. She's chasing wide to the wings. Despite starting from the middle of the table, Shan Shan Na with a few excellent shots here, but it's not enough. And when you're on the Chinese national team, you're always sort of on trial for the next big tournament. Two seven. Chun Mung wanting to take the title. Strongest seed left in the tournament for the women's game, the women's event here. But if she takes the title, she'll also have a strong case for going to the world championships. Yeah! Outstanding play. Look at this. Even Sean Shauna knows. So many shots there. Sean Shana was able to hang into the rally for several, several big shots deep to the backhand corner, the short forehand stroke there. And when she gets Sean, uh, Chun Mung a little bit off balance, still just can't put it away. Nine two. Two 
Washington. And completely out chasing the ball. The backhand side of the table was Chun Mung's for the taking. The way was paved and it is eight match points for Chun Mung to move on to the women's championship match. Ten. There it is, 11 points to three. Chun Mung moves on over Sean Shauna, who had an incredible tournament, knocking out Ju Yu Ling, the top seed. But not Chun Mung, world ranked number eight, the 23 year old ninth seed in the tournament, will move on to the women's singles final, which will be happening tomorrow here in Qatar. But first, we have another women's singles semifinal coming up. It's going to be Gu Yu Ting and Wang Man Yu, two players from China. And we'll see who's the stronger of the two, but a dominant performance here from Chun Meng to move on in fashion to the women's singles final. Stick around, we've got the other semifinal coming up right after this. Fulton Game for Ten. Eleven five for Ten. Four, four, ten, the game, the match, four, 